What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Big Daddy Kyle. We're at Keysville 2023 Cheeseburger Fest. We're gonna do some interviews, talk to some people, and eat some cheeseburgers. Let's see which one is the best one. Let's go, cause we hungry. So we're gonna try to see if anyone running by in the 5K wants a donut. We did this last year and I thought it was pretty fun, but we're gonna see if we can do it again this year. This first guy coming, he's not gonna want a donut. I mean, he's a, he's a pure athlete. All right, man, you the man. He said, yes, sir. He called me, sir, he knows, he knows. Donut, anyone want a donut? You want a donut? You want a No, no donut, no donut? Okay, okay, he's going, good job. Donut, no? Okay, good job. I'm just gonna hold the donuts up. One donut, 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 donut. donut. My man, all right. First customer of the day. This guy in the cheeseburger hat looks like he used a donut. Sure, for real? Yeah, for real, all right. <laughs> okay, all right. They want one donut, you want donut? Here you go, here you go, here you go. Go ahead, yeah, all right. All right, we're gonna wrap it up. I gotta bring this back to the kids. Your mom's gonna get mad that I gave all the donuts away. I'd like to get a tribute burger. All right, anything else for you? That's, you know what, and a Coke. Okay. Hey, congratulations on the win this year. Thank so you. that's awesome. Yeah. How's that Perfect. feel? Very, very good. Feels I'm good. That man right there. All right. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Thank you. All right. See, what's your guys' name? Johnny. Ron. Johnny and Ron. And uh, it, I, I, I saw them, and it seems to me that they're on a mission today. I heard them talking. I think they're gonna try to eat like every cheeseburger on a strip. I don't know, or as many as you can. Is that correct, boys? That's correct. For sure, yeah. every single one of them. Well, uh, you're eating the tribute burger right now, huh? There you go. How do you guys like it? Pretty good. I like Not it. Not too bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah? All right. It looks good. It looks sloppy. Yeah. Sloppy. First one of the day. First one of the day. All right, man. So good luck in your endeavors. Thank you. And I'll uh, try to keep up with you, boys. <laughs> nice meeting you guys. Winner of this year's Kaysville Cheeseburger Contest was Beckler and Associates. It's right down here by the, the butterfly chips are and the elephant ears and everything. Here's the burger itself. Uh, so it looks like there's onion rings, barbecue sauce, some sort of cheese. There's some sort of, hold on, let's, what's this? I don't know what that is, we're, we're about to find out. Pulled pork, there's pulled pork on this thing. All right, let's have a bite of this thing and see how she is. This is the winner, it was announced yesterday. Here we go. It's very juicy. Mm. That is a very barbecuey. It reminds me of uh, if Texas made a burger. It's very, very hot, very juicy. The bees even want it. That's a good burger. I like it. Beckler and Associates, congratulations. Get yourself an award-winning burger. Hi, I'd like to get the uh, one eye Jack. That's the one you guys entered in the contest, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. It sounds like a pirate name. I'm kind of a pirate myself, so, you know, it'll, it'll fit perfect. All right, so you're doing uh, you doing my burger right now, Brad? Doing your burger right now. All right, we got some onions going. On. I see you put barbecue sauce on. Yeah, that's right. Homemade Jack Daniel barbecue. The Jack Daniel barbecue. How many times do you burn your fingers during the course of this? Try, try not to. Uh, usually just the knuckle hairs. Yeah, just the knuckle hairs. Just the knuckle hairs. We got the one-eyed Jack from Brad's Bang and Burgers. Okay, we got first off. Soft bun, which is good. Brad O's does the soft buns, which is, I like that. This thing is loaded with uh, like Jack Daniel sauce and and bacon and onion rings and everything else, man. This is, a, we got we got some onions on here. My mouth is watering. Here we go. Oh yeah. Mm, the cheddar hits just right. The cheddar hits really good. It's a sweet. Jack Daniel sauce and a sweet barbecue sauce. Patty's juicy, 
Onions are juicy. The bacon is really crispy. What I notice about Brad, when he makes a burger, when he makes his creations, they're always a little bit on the sweeter side. It's like getting a little treat when you eat your burger. A little bit of sweet with a little bit of salty is what you want, you know? Another banger for Brad's banging burgers. It's a good burger. You like you like Brad's banging burgers? I do. It's good, right? Look at that thing. Look at that thing. What what do we got going on here, man? We tried to make a burger that looked like a Sunday, and um, it does look like a Sunday. Yeah. So so it's a slow smoke burger, and then the cream cheese is um, butter, mushroom, bacon, what, and some good flavors in there. And we make it look like a sundae, a little bit of uh, jerk agent sauce for a topping, and then a cherry tomato to finish her off. That's pretty awesome. All right, we're going to take a bite of this thing and see what we got going on here. Let's, uh, I guess we're just going to smoosh this down, right? Oh, this looks like a sloppy jalopy right here. Oh, man. That's a pretty burger, though. Look at that. That looks like something you'd see in, like, a magazine or something, right? Got to take my sunglasses off for this one. Mm. Wow, that is rich. That's a rich burger. Boy, boy, that cream cheese has so much flavor in it. That's different, man. I like that though. Good thing I like cream cheese. Cherry tomato gives you like this refreshing sensation on your palate, you know? Dude, that's good. You're always hitting it out of the park with these different weird creations. I'm, I'm all about it. I'm here for that, man. A lot of flavor. First thing came to my mind was how rich it was, you know. Yeah. So, and I, I love, I love my rich foods. And that's how it was last year with the yeah, queso. yeah, with the queso. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I remember I sat there and ate it right there, and I had queso all <laughs> over. It was, it was good too, though, man. I like, I like how you guys go out of the box and, and create like different things, you know. All right, today we are, uh, we're here at the firehouse. They're only open on Saturdays from like 11 to 6 or 10 to 6. I always love this burger because. It's for a good cause. The first Saturday of Cheeseburger Fest, you gotta come down here and you gotta get yourself a cheeseburger at the fire station. So this place, you come here, you order your burger over there, and then you come over here and you put your toppings on and you enjoy. All right, man, I bought another burger. Yep. I interviewed you last time. All right, so I got the onions, the pickles, tomatoes, ketchup. We're gonna see how it is. Did you cook this? I could've. You could've? Kind of an onion burger? No, it's yeah. not the onion burger. The onion no, burger was sold out. I didn't cook the onion burger. Or I didn't cook that one. Okay, well next year I gotta try the onion burger if you guys have that again. I'm yeah, just here too you late. Come earlier. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh Grody man! <laughs> oh. Here we go. Mmm. I think I love this cheeseburger the best. Yeah. I said that before. They're good. It's just a classic taste, man. Like, I love all the crazy stuff that goes on. Yep. It's a classic cheeseburger, and I put all the trimmings on it. Just crunchy vegetables, warm burger with the melty cheese. This is good. Oh, yeah. I'm glad, really to see, good. I'm glad to see you still work here. Oh, yeah. It's good. It's good. All right. Steve, was it? Yeah, she was Steve. Well, you're going to be on YouTube again? That's good. All right. Thank you, sir. Yeah, not a problem. Enjoy cheeseburger, yeah. brother. Yeah, you too. Uh, we're here at the concert, at the concert, we're here at the concert in the park, okay, live music all week long when you're at Cheeseburger Fest, a lot of fun as you can see, butterfly chips, I eat these every single year, they're down at, uh, actually this year they're where the award winning cheeseburger was, so of course I already know these are good. You guys wish you could have, look at the bacon bits and the sour cream and the chives and the cheese. Mmm. Mmm. They're doing the conch blowing right now. Conch blowing contest is what made me fall in love with Cheeseburger Fest. Right here. Mmm. I'm here with Matthew and uh, we're gonna try a couple cheeseburgers, right Luke? Yep. All right, let's get two cheeseburgers. This is the school, you guys are from the school, right? Kaysville Public Schools putting this on. So this is going towards a good cause right here. Thank you very much, Matthew. I'll talk to you later. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>
This is a cheesy soccer right here. Super cheesy. It's a classic cheeseburger, just like the firehouse. Classic cheeseburger. I love it. There's a lot of cheese on this one though, which is I like a lot of cheese. Oh, a thick boy too. Mm. Hazel in the park for the schools. Get some. All right, we're here at Beachy's again, which is one of my favorite places. I almost stepped on my wife and crushed her. Uh, they just opened. So there's no crowd here yet, but this place gets jamming. As you saw in the last videos, it's always all packed in here. They got a DJ this year, which is kind of cool. This year they have the Endless Summer Burger. It is a half pound hand patted burger with zesty pepper jack, layer of pressed cheese curds, which I'm excited about. Homemade pickles, secret sauce on a bun. My man Weston's gonna cook it up over there. Say hi, Weston. What's up? I'm here with my man Weston. What's going on? What's going on? All right, man, you're working at Beachy's. You're sweating, and the day just started, yep. and you got beads of sweat rolling. It's hot back here by these grills, man. It is, it's warm. So it's what do you warm. think about the burger this year? I'm about to eat it. Am I gonna be impressed with this thing? You should be, I, I think so. Yeah? We, uh, just threw it together. We like the flavors that go with it, and it, it works well. It Dude, works well. I, I like cheese curds, so I'm especially excited about this burger. So, and Wes is cooking it for me. That's right. Which I'm happy about. How many burgers do you think you're going to slang today? A lot. Take I a, don't know. Take a, if you had to guess. Do it in pounds. We do about, oh gosh, 20 cases a day. So, we do about 1,200 pounds a day. That's a lot of pounds. No That's a lot of pounds. It's no joke. It's no, no joke. And, and you guys are cooking for, how, what is this, 10 day festival? 10 days. So, 10 days. That's a, that's a lot of cows, bro. That's a lot of cows. All right, so here we go. This is the burger right here. We got the pepper jack cheese, the cheese curds, and pickles, a special sauce underneath on a big, this is a homemade juicy patty. We're gonna check this bad boy out. Toasted bun, some kind of secret special sauce. The bun is nice and soft, it's toasted, which is good. Look at this, this is a nice looking sandwich. I mean, this is a good presentation they got going on here. So let's see how this bad boy is. Let's give it a sniff test. Smells like a good burger. Let's, let's, let's get a bite. We gotta get a bite with a little bit of everything in it. <laughs> There's a lot of flavor in this. This is good. Oh, it hits just right. You can taste everything. All the flavors. You can taste everything. Yeah. This is so good. <laughs> Beachy's is where it's at. Weston, when you see Weston, you say, hey, Danny Delicious sent me. Mmm. So good. But that's that special secret sauce. Man, that secret sauce when we say one word, hot dog, you know what I'm saying? Mmm. So good. Coming out of Beachy's. Can't miss it. We're on a strip. What's up, guys? Good, Weston sent me over here. He said I gotta come get a burger. All right, here, what, what can I get for you? Uh, what's the one you entered in the contest this year? That flipping. The that flipping? flipping? Yeah, it's just that. Let's get it. Are you Weston's brother, aren't you? I, I am. Okay, I can tell by the voice. <laughs> what's on this flipping burger? Let's see. Creamy street corn spread, serrano pepper cheese, fiesta crema, crunch, and a bun. This one sounds pretty good. All right, what was your name again? My name is Garrett. Garrett, this is Weston's, West, Western. Weston's brother. I can't talk today. It's Weston's brother. Who's the cooler brother? You were him. Uh, he is. I'll give it to him. You're gonna give it to him? Hey, you, he, he runs you, that restaurant. That, I, I'm, I'm, you, I'm, I'm, I'm hold humble. on. I'm because you gave it to him, that means you're the cooler brother. See that? He's the cooler brother. I like him more now, Weston. Okay. <laughs> All right, thanks, man. The flipping amazing burger. Look at that thing. It's got the. It's got like a corn. What is it? A creamy street corn spread with these Fritos on top, toasted bun. The patty looks similar to across the street at Beachy's, but then again, they are sister restaurants. Look at this. Oh man, this is a slapper boy right here. Look at that though. Oh, it looks good. Let's take a big slapper bite. That's cheesy, yo. <laughs> it's so cheesy. <laughs> oh, it's all over the place. Mm. Wow. That really has that Mex Tex vibe going on for it. Look at that. Look at that. 
the crunchy frios on top kind of set it off. But that cheese, that cheese is amazing. It's a melty, melty cheese. And the, the, the corn, the street corn sauce is fantastic. What one are you guys getting? I don't know yet. You gotta get this one. It's flipping amazing? Yeah. It it's flipping amazing. Is it hot? It's not spicy, but it's, it's messy. It's a messy boy. <laughs> but this is good. The cheese on it's awesome. We're at Horns and we're with the family. Right, Griffin? Yeah. All right. We're gonna try the burger. They got this Game of Thrones fire and ice burger. Hey, man. Are you excited? Yeah. You're gonna try this thing? Yeah. Okay. What's your name, man? My name's Mark Adams. Mark? We work at Hay uh, uh, Orange Main Street Liquor and Deli in Caseville, Michigan. All right. How, how's the sales going so far? Oh, great. We've had a couple good days. I had a little bit of rain Friday, but Saturday was really good. Sunday was really good. All right. Hoping for a good week. Uh, I'm excited about this ice and fire burger you guys have. Oh, everybody loves it. Everybody said we should have won best cheeseburger in Caseville by far. All right, well, we're gonna try that thing, man. You'll love it. Thank you. What do we got here? Do you know the name of this burger? The Fire and Ice Cheeseburger. The Fire and Ice Cheeseburger, that's right. All right, this is a big boy. This is a, this is a mouthful right here. What do we got? We got the burger. Open it, open it up and let's take a look at it. Let's take a look at it. We have flaming Hot Doritos, or Cheetos on that side, and Cool Ranch Doritos on that side. So it's the Fire and Ice, it looks like there's a Pepper Jack cheese in the middle. You see the pepper jack? Yeah. What kind of sauce? Give a taste of that sauce. Lick that sauce. See how it is. Good. Is it good? What does it taste like? I don't know. <laughs> Give your sister a taste. Here, put your finger right there. Dip your finger in that and taste that. The sauce, the sauce. Yeah, the sauce. What does it taste like? It's just good? Are you ready? Hold on. Cheers. Cheers, my man. Bam. Let's go. That's cheesy. That's like a, some sort of case or something. Oh, it's a little spicy. It's a little spicy. You can taste the Kawhi and Doritos. Mike, you gotta take a bite of that. You will pop some bite. It reminds me of, uh, what did you say, like when we were kids, right? Yeah, when we were kids, we would always uh, throw together these concoctions. Right. Whatever you had in the, the kitchen, whatever mom bought at the store that day. Yeah. Crush the chips up, put it on. That is really I, good. I like it. Griff, what do you think? It's good. It's good? What would you give it one to ten? An eight? That's a good score. That's a good score. Good? Do you like it? I think it's pretty good. I think it's solid. Everyone approves. I like the uh the double patty, it's good. That what what kind of what hey, what would you say that dip is or something? I mean, it's not a queso. I said it was a queso. It's not a queso. It's some kind of. It's, it's like a south, a southwestern, southwest. A little, a little twang to it. You know what I'm saying? Tell them it's got a little twang to it. It got a little twang. Got a little twang to it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Horn, Main Street Party Store, in town. Come get one. It's good. These guys are always doing something fun. The Game of Thrones burger. Yeah. Is that good? Yeah, you like it. Going back for more, huh? <laughs> All right, guys, we're at Baywatch on the beach with the owner, Phil, here. Say hi, Phil. Hi, how are you? And uh, what's this name of this burger you guys have? Linda's Tropical Sensation. Linda's Tropical Sensation. What's on this thing? This is a half pound hand, uh, hand patty fresh burger. It's got uh, great jerk, Caribbean jerk seasoning and feta cheese inside of it. It's got a pineapple mango salsa and a house-made tropical rum sauce. Dude, this burger patty looks like it's all handmade. It looks good, dude. So we're gonna have a bite of this. Look at this thing, it's juicy. Oh, it smells, oh, it smells good, dude. All right, let's have a bite of this bad boy here. Wow, that's a unique flavor. It's not too, not too sweet, though. Not too sweet, it's got not too spicy. Yeah. The tropical rum helps offset some of the jalapeno and jerk seasoning. Mm, that is good. Man, that's a good burger. You know, every year, you guys impress impressed me immensely. So, that's a damn good burger though. Thank you. It's so juicy, it's so juicy. Look at look at this, guys. So juicy, Phil. Thank you very much. Every year I look forward to what you're doing here. This is the only burger on the beach, guys. The only one on the beach. So you wanna come have uh, some food on the beach? You don't even need a break cord. Just come see Phil. He'll take care of you. Thank you, Phil. All right, thanks, brother. All right, man. You too. I'm here with Dak. Jack the man, and we're at Rollin' Fresh Gourmet. We're right here in town, 
right by the park. See the park behind me over there somewhere? Uh, and this is a, this is you guys' first time here. For, yep, yep, first time up here at the Cheeseburger Pass. And what kind of burger am I about to eat? So he's gonna eat the real deal. That's the one we entered in the competition. It's, uh, it's definitely the real deal. It's a 70 30 short rib burger. What, what's a short rib burger? Short rib meat grind. So it's got a little brisket and short rib grind. So it's 70 30. It's got, you know, about 20 more percent fat than the normal burger. So it's, so it's the real deal. That's, that's Plus, my kind of burger. Man. And it's always ground 24 hours fresh out because we all got the Gordon's connections. Okay. So the meat's coming in 24 hours fresh. So. Dude, it's definitely, it's definitely a solid burger. Come on out and try it. I can't wait to try this. I can't wait to try this. Thank you, sir. Come see them at the, the Black Trail. They'll be here next year. So at least that's, I think so. Uh, and uh, come on down and get a burger. About to try this burger. I'm with Ben right here. Doggone Ben, I swear. This looks like the most gourmet burger I've ever seen on the strip here. Look at this thing. Look at that bacon. That's and a the, real deal. It's that's that's a real, real deal. deal. Look at that roast bun, man. It's like toasted perfectly on the inside. Look at that, dude. That looks so good. Mm. Yeah, dude. That's a real deal, bro. That's a real deal. That's a real deal, son. That burger patty is something else. You can definitely tell that that's like short rib. It's not just like regular ground beef, you know? All right. It says farm farm to trailer, right? On, on the side, it says farm to trailer. Yes, sir. You can definitely taste how fresh it is. And that that's something that counts in a burger. You can yeah. tell when a burger's not, not fresh, you know? Oh, yeah. That's what's up right there, that bacon. And it's, it's like a thicker bacon, too. It is, yep. We went for a little bit thicker applewood smoke, you know. Actually, the Captain Morgan's plays on there, but... Oh, Morgan's Captain Morgan's. Yeah, 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 right, yeah. Brown sugar, all that good stuff. Oh, man, that's a good burger. Mmm. Paradise sauce goes with mm. it. Jalapenos don't bring in too much heat. Just, don't, that, just, just enough. Right? Just enough. Right. right. I love it. Yeah. I love it, dude. Good job on this. Appreciate it. Thank you very much, and I will see you guys next year. Thanks a lot. All right, check it out. I got Beachy Swag on. What's up? <laughs> Kyle and Weston hooked me up. Look at this. Yeah. By the way, her name's Kyle, too, just like me. Ain't that something? Your name's Kyle. My name's Kyle. I didn't know that. Yes, it's Kyle. It sure is. I know. I was gonna punch a hole through the wall. <laughs> you gotta drink a bunch of monsters, yeah. smash some drywall, ride some dirt bikes, crap, crap. That's what's up. That's what's up. So now I'm sponsored by Beachies. What's up? Let's go! All right, yo, it's a Tuesday morning, 11 a.m. That's when the burgers start getting cooked. Is uh, around 11 o'clock at all these places, and we decided to come to the outskirts of town at Key North Mini Golf and Fun Center. And uh, we're gonna get our Gouda on because they got this Gouda burger. Two places this year have a Gouda burger. This place and then Waltz, which we're gonna try probably tomorrow. And they got bumper cars, go-karts, all sorts of fun stuff going on here. Putt, putt, golf, bring the kids down. Kids activities all week long. Let's see this. Oh, ooh, look at this thing right here. Oh, soft bun, toasted bun. Here's a pay. Oh, it's like caramelized onions and gouda cheese. And on the bottom, oh, there's like some fresh springtime lettuce with uh, fresh cut onions. This is the gouda burger at Key North Fun Center. Ooh. Look at that. Ooh. Oh. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Mmm. Thanks, baby. Mm. Okay. That gouda cheese is good. That's like a, is that like a bacony caramel onion? I don't, that's good. I don't know. There's like some kind of caramelized onion thing going on here. There's not a bad burger on the strip. There's not a bad burger out there. Some better than others, but none of them are bad. Now, I do think that this may be a pre made patty, but all the toppings make up for it. I mean, this. This Gouda cheese, whatever they smothered this in, this is like a, there's onion bits in there and I don't even know, what else? What's in this thing? What's in the, what, what's in this sauce on this thing? A bunch of good stuff. Sugar, paprika, pepper, salt, cumin. Cumin, oh, yep. Yep, see that, get that? Garlic and onion. It's so good. Are, are you the owner? Yeah. I'm Kyle. Nice to meet you. I'm just doing it for YouTube. So delicious burger. If I could buy that sauce, I would. I would buy that in jars. 
and smear it on everything. Chicken, burgers, I probably put it on a steak. You taste that? Yeah, it's really good. It's really good. Paired with the Gouda cheese, all melty. King North, family fun center. What's up? Okay, we're at Chuck's drive through diner and it's, <laughs> I went inside, it's half laundry mat, half diner, but it's, it says walk up and drive through diner only. So like, there's no place inside to order. So I think we just literally walk up to here and order, I think. Maybe. Now let's walk up and see what's going on. I don't know how this works. <laughs> this is weird. Chuck's walk up window. Hi! Can I help you? Do I go to a walk up window somewhere? There's a walk up window oh, right there. Inside. Look, nope, it's right outside there. Oh. Uh, look at the menu and then there's a doorbell there. Just ring the doorbell when you're ready to order. Excellent, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Oh, right here. I'm blind. I'd like to get that. B, what's it called? The BCGC? Yeah. Burger. Yeah, the burger. The burger. It's just a basic burger with everything on it. We just asked which cheese to it instead of American. Excellent. All right, cool. Chuck's drive through diner. Here she is in a nice checkered board pattern wrapping. I think this is the only drive through in Kaysville, Michigan, uh, which means this is good news for Cheeseburger Fest because you can go walk around town, do your stuff. When you're tired, get back in your car. You don't want to walk anymore. You can drive through here, order your food, and then go home. And also, this place does a lot of different foods. The menu looks actually pretty fantastic. They have uh, all sorts of breakfast options, breakfast burritos and sandwiches. They do Chicago style dogs, Coney dogs. They have smoothies, frappes, every, they got all sorts of stuff here. They have all sorts of different chicken dishes and stuff. So this, oh man, look at this right here. This is a kind of a classic take on a cheeseburger, right? So nothing too crazy. Uh, looks like a basic cheeseburger with Swiss cheese, pickle, onion, tomato, lettuce, ketchup, mayo. Uh, we're going to see. It's just like a classic drive through burger, which there's nothing wrong with that. I like that. Well, yeah, it's a classic burger. So the burger itself has a lot of flavor. They seasoned it with something. I can't quite tell. Pickles are crunchy and big. I don't know if they're homemade or not. They're, they're vinegary. I like the pickles. The pickles are good. Let's get a little nibble of this meat. They went through the spice rack with the meat. They mixed a bunch of stuff in. I can't put my finger on what it is. It's very flavorful. It's very flavorful. The vegetables, cold, crisp, nice. Lots of ketchup, mayo. It's your basic burger, man. Look at this. So, good job, Chucks. Let's, uh, let's see what you guys do next year, and uh, I'll be back for some more. Only drive through in Cageville. We're here at Lefty's Diner, right next to the Kaysville Family Skating Arena. And you know, I just have to say something here. I was like, okay, if you look at the video, we went to a Lefty's standalone little booth location and had their burger. And I found out, oh, Lefty's and Beachy's is owned by like the same people. So it's like sister companies. And then I come down here and I'm like, okay, it's Lefty's Diner. It must be different than the, because they have different burgers for the competition. I go in there, everyone's wearing Lefty's and Beachy's t-shirts. I said, what? I said, is this the same as the little kiosk and then the Beachy? And they're like, yeah, we're all the same. You triple dipping, triple dipping friends of mine. We're going to eat a burger here. Weston, what's going on here, man? What's going on here? But I am very excited about this burger because this is the sunny side, the sunny side, uh, what's it called, babe? The sunny burger? The su what are you laughing at? And me and the chair, this chair is my size. So this is like the sunny, uh, the sunny side up, bur I'm murdering this, I don't know. But look, I'm really excited about this. Come in close on this, come in close. This is on a pretzel bun. Look at this thing. This is on a pretzel bun that has Caramelized onions, some kind of cheese, pickles, aioli sauce, onions. I mean, this looks good. Let's see. My mouth is watering. So here's the thing. You're allowed to triple dip as long as you make a good burger. So we're gonna see if this is a good burger or not. We gotta get a bite of everything here. Get that pickle on the forefront. Oh yeah, oh. 
That's a good burger. <laughs> That's a good burger. Feel free to triple dip anytime you want. Beachies, lefties, whatever you want to call yourself. Mm mm. It's pretty good. Hi. Right. Count me in for lefties anytime you want. Go visit Beachies down there. Then go visit Lefty's uh, little kiosk. Then come here to Lefty's Diner. The aioli's kicking. The cheese is good. The grilled onions are good. The pretzel bun makes it though. The pretzel bun is fantastic. How do I get down? Okay, we are at the Kaysville Scenic Golf and Country Club. We are in the outer rim right now. We are, this is a few miles away from the actual downtown area. We had to drive to get here. And they have what's called the Divot Burger. So I'm kind of excited because it's like a pizza burger. Beautiful golf course out here, look at that. If you're a golfer, I'm not a golfer, but if you're a golfer, it's quiet and peaceful. The greens look great. They have a little pond right there. It looks like a fantastic place to enjoy a day of golfing. On the greens with the pizza burger. I'm sorry, it's the Divot Burger, but it's a pizza style burger, so. Here's what we got now. We have chips, it comes with a pickle on a bun, pizza sauce, a slice of cheese, some pepperoni. Let's see how this bad lad stacks up. For 10 bucks, 10 bucks you get a full meal with chips and pickle and everything. Smells zesty, smells like pizza. I mean, this is exactly how it looks. This sauce, cheese, pepperoni on a, on a burger. I don't know if we're supposed to be down here. I don't think we're supposed to be down here eating. We're gonna go. We gotta go, we gotta go. Okay guys, we're at Shakey's on the Road. Give them a follow on Facebook. Be greatly appreciated. They do, I was just talking to them, they do a ton of different food. It's all big portions. It's all, I, you can feel it in this burger. It, this is heavy, this is a heavy burger. So, you know, you can split this up and take this home to, to your family members or whatever. My mouth is watering already. I can smell this thing, it smells so good. Very hot, look at this, look at that. Deep fried Reuben burger, here we go. That's a, that's a Reuben all right. Man, that's good, it's hot. Hey, you know about the sauerkraut's perfect in this, and this, the, the sauce is perfect. Mm, that's so good. You know, I'm always used to having Reuben's with bread on the outside. This tortilla thing they got going, it's pretty good here. You guys getting a Reuben? Yeah? Oh, you're convincing me right now. It's good, man. I mean, if you like Reuben, this is this is what's up right here. I got nothing else to say. That's perfect. Shakey's on the road. You gotta get some. You gotta get this Reuben burger. This is phenomenal. Perfect, crispy. Let's go. Oh, hey, by the way, you know what? Now that you're here, hey, put your hands up for a second. Coming up on MQS Pizza Express. Last year, these guys had that Aju burger that I liked. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Hey, good, man. I'd like to order a burger. We don't have any. They don't have <laughs> Don't lie to me, man. I know you guys got the burgers. I want that, the one, whatever one you entered in the contest this year. What's it called? It's the grilled cheese one, right? It's grilled yeah. cheese bourbon burger. Bourbon burger, MQS grilled cheese burger. Comes in a nice red checkered paper. That looks like a grilled cheese sandwich. Look at that right there. Okay, we have a bunch of grilled onions, a lot of cheese, fresh burger patty. Look, it's not frozen, it's fresh patty right there. And there's so much cheese, there's cheese on the wrapper. And sometimes when I get cheese on a wrapper, it's the best part. And this does not disappoint. Okay. Oh, there's a little bit of sweetness going on here. All right, let's try this thing. Unique burger for this year's Cheeseburger Fest. Look at all the onions on there. Mmm. Oh. Okay. It's cheesy and oniony. The burger is juicy. But there's some kind of sweet on it. I think uh, maybe it's a caramelization from the onions. I'm not sure. That's good. Very buttery. Very buttery. Very delicious. Grilled cheeseburger, MQS. You gotta come down and try it if you're in town. MQS is always doing some unique things. Got something going on and they're always good. It's always a solid, solid burger when you go there and you gotta have the Fago Cola to go with it. So I'm eating my burger over here and Shelly from the lemonade stand right behind me, she comes over and gives me a lemonade. 
So, Shelly, are you, this, is this your first year here? I've never seen you guys here before. First year, okay. Are you this and this, or just your everything? Okay. Right here to compliment MQS. So come on down, see Shelly. Get yourself. Hold on. It's fresh. It's real lemons. Yeah, it's fresh squeeze. Fresh squeeze, delicious, refreshing at Cheeseburger Fest. Thank you, Shelly. Appreciate that. All right, check it out. Hey, we got worm right here in the All American Drift. Check it out. That's what I'm talking about. Waltos puts on a solid burger. It's a fan favorite. They actually sold out and were close from Sunday to Wednesday. Was it Saturday to Wednesday or Sunday to Wednesday? Sunday to Wednesday. Sunday to Wednesday they were close because they were out of food. Because everyone comes down the strip, everyone gets waltz. So let's go see what they're cooking on the grill here. Well, what do you got the smoker here for? So we're going to be throwing racks of ribs on. You're going to be doing ribs? Ribs, racks, full racks of baby back. Oh. We can get a dozen racks on at a time. Nice. Let them burn and run for a bit. And all right. Rotation. Look at all these burgers they're cooking up here. They're getting ready. Today's going to be a big day. The parade's going on. Tons of people are going to be here. I think I can go order a burger, Worm. I got you, man. All right, brother. Thank you. you. Thank you. I would like to order whatever you guys had in the contest. The, the jam and gouda. We gotta open that crispy Coke first. This is the jam and gouda at Waltz. Take a, let's take a peek under the hood here. We have gouda cheese, obviously, a nice soft bun right here. Uh, oh, we have, looks like onion chips, I think. Hold on. Mm, yeah, onion, crispy onion chips. Some kind of sweet, Something or other, sauce, I don't even know. Jam. Jam. Jam and Gouda. I'm not so smart sometimes, Luke. <laughs> All right, let's take a bite of this. Looks good. Patty looks juicy. It's a big patty, big big burger. Waltz always does a big fat burger, so you always get your money's worth out of Waltz, which is good. Let's see here. They haven't disappointed yet. Mmm. Oh. That jam. That jam is what's up. Oh man, that jam is making the burger. It's sweet, not overly sweet. It just has a really good flavor. The Gouda cheese really sets the burger off, I think. That jam is the special stuff. That jam is, is what's up. That's a good burger. Nice and sweet, a little peppery. Those crispy French fried onions, solid. Worm here did an excellent job. Thanks, man. Good burger, dude. Thank you. All right, blue, the blue water, raspberry, chipotle. Oh, it comes with French fries and everything. Look at this thing. This thing's huge. Wow. This is a this is a monster. This is a monster burger. Look at that. Fresh. Okay, we have lettuce, tomato, onion, pickles. We have, oh, we have more onions, like grilled onions underneath. The special raspberry sauce on here. I don't even know how I'm going to get my mouth around this. Let's, let's get in close to the camera. Look at that. There we go. That's a proper burger. That looks like it belongs in a magazine or something. <laughs> All right, let's get a bite. Well, you can really taste that sweet raspberry coming through. Vegetables are crisp and fresh. Have you guys had this yet? No one's had this yet? This is a good burger. This is good. What else we got? We got a little bit of bacon. It looks like bacon on there. Is that bacon on this? Bacon. Mmm. All right, this tastes like a really good fresh burger. Like a, like what you expect out of like a, a, a nice bar burger. That's what, I guess it is a bar burger. We are in a bar, right? That raspberry. Chipotle comes through. It's not too strong. It's not too sweet. It's just the right amount. The blue water in. Right on the strip. Across the street from Beaches. Come get you some. Hot Rods Portobello Mushroom Burger. Here it is in new foil. I don't know what it looks like yet. I'm wondering, because in 2021 that I had a Portobello Mushroom Burger. I'm wondering if it's the same thing. Oh, they cut it in half. Yeah, I think, it, I think it's the same burger. This is when they enter the competition. Deep fried portobello mushroom on that bad boy. Portobellas are the steak of mushrooms. Very thick, juicy mushroom. Let's have a bite of this thing. Very portobello-y taste. You can taste the batter on the deep fried portobello mushroom, which is good. And you can really taste that mushroom coming through. So if you like portobello mushrooms, this is one for you. The star of the show here is that portobello mushroom. And uh, it has good flavor. How much else to say about it? It's a burger with a portobello, deep fried portobello mushroom on it. But I like it. It's a solid burger. And I would buy that again. I did buy it again because I bought it in 2021. I'm buying it right now. Still just as good. That's Hot Rods right on the strip. 
Come get you some. All right, we are at the Thumb Brewery right here, right off of Main Street. It's just a little side street, and this is the Super Sleeper Burger. Now, uh, I'm not really sure what's on it. Looks like a, oh, look at this big boy right here. Lots of bacon, onion, there's cheese. It looks like a pretty classic burger, except with that bacon on it. There's a, even a little toothpick in the middle. So we're gonna give this, this thing a bite. And I might add, this is the last burger on the list. So after this, this is the 18th burger. 18th, 18th. All right. Oh, there's jalapenos hiding in there, which is good. All right, let's take a bite. The vegetables, first thing I know is mixed with that mayo. I'm a mess. That's all right, this is how we do. The, that's aioli sauce. That's like a garlic aioli sauce. That's good. The vegetables, very crisp. Cheese, very cheesy. I didn't get any jalapenos in that bite, so hold on. There's a lot of bacon on this too, which is good. Nothing crazy, but it's a solid burger. I would buy this again. Last one on the list. I'm actually happy it's the last one on the list because I'm burgered out. Fresh. The word fresh comes to mind when I'm eating this. Good burger. Solid, solid choice if you want to go. Thumb Brewery. Let's go. I just want to add, I think that this is the only brewery in town. I'm not sure, don't quote me on that, but I think it, it's the only brewery in town. So if you like beer, you're in Kaysville, you want craft beer, they have craft beers in there. All right, we got Dustin here in the kitchen. He's making burgers. And Dustin, uh, what is your idea behind this burger that you made here for the competition? Well, what we made here was a burger that we normally have on the menu, but we supersized it in a sense and thought we could be the winners with it. That garlic aioli sauce was awesome, bro. Uh, is that is that always on the burger? Uh, no, that was uh, part of the addition there to the super or to the sleeper that we normally have. Okay, well, I really enjoyed it. I liked all the bacon on it. The vegetables were crisp. It was a solid burger, dude. Very, very good. And uh, you're selling a lot of these here. Yes, they, it's been our most popular burger. Awesome, dude. How you how you liking Cheeseburger Fest so far? Oh, uh, it's it's great. Great time, good people, and lots of fun. All right, man. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate your time, and uh, I'll let you get back to work here, brother. If you want something deep fried, this is Deep Fried Alley right here. This is everything we have. Deep fried corn, veggies, key lime pie, pecan pie, deep fried Twinkies, Oreos, funnel cakes, elephant ears, whatever you want. Come on down. Right here. Deep fried corn. Never had it before. Come on, follow me. We are deep frying corn forever now. That's what we're doing from here on out. We're deep frying corn. Wow. That's the juiciest corn I've ever eaten. Wow. That's good. Get some deep fried corn. Hey, listen, we're set up for the parade right outside of Pizza on the Bay. This is uh, Brad's shop. Brad for Brad's banging burgers. And they got the best slice of pizza in town. Alan, I, I'm getting ready to taste it. Let's let's show the camera let's the pizza. Look at this. Look at that. It looks good. You buy buy the slice, buy buy the whole pizza. It's covered in herbs and spices. Get a bite on there. How is it? Mmm. I'm, I'm eating right now, but oh man, good and juicy. <laughs> oh man, this is good. Yes. It's a softer mm. dough pizza, but it's not too thick. Oh god, thick. this is so good. Yes. I don't it's like that. Even though it's cheeseburger fest. You gotta get a slice of pizza every once in a while. Pizza on the bay. You, got, you, you want a pizza? Come get a pizza from them. Kyle! Oh, for the love of God. Kyle! Oh, Kyle! Kyle! What are you doing? What are you. You're. You're. What. What is happening? I too many cheeseburgers. Oh Lord, you're in the neighbor's yard. Yeah, I got the meat sweats. Uh, I think. All right, we're back at Rolling Fresh Gourmet, the food truck right here by the park in town. And uh, we already had the burger there during the competition, but these guys invited me back for another burger. They said, you gotta try the Big Ben. 
and I looked at what the Big Ben was, and I got really excited. I said, I'm gonna come back. So we're gonna show you guys what's in this. Goodness, it is big. dude, look at that cheese pull, son. We have a bunch of caramelized onions. There's sliced pork belly inside there. There's an egg. All right, I'm always a fan of eggs on burgers. There's garnishing on top and an aioli sauce. Dude, let's take a bite. Cheers. Cheers. Happy cheeseburger, Mike. Happy cheeseburger. Wow. Man, that is delicious. Yeah, very savory, salty, delicious. That pork belly, you can taste that pork yeah. in there, that thin pork, it sets it off. And the onions, I love how there's a ton of onions. So these guys running this food truck here, I don't know if I said this before, but they're gourmet chefs, so you know the food's gonna be good. That's their background. They're all 25 years plus gourmet chefs. So of course it shows in the food, you know? Look at that thing, man. I love the egg. Oh man. Mm. Dude, I dropped my pork on the ground. Oh, man. It's got grass on it, but I'm, this is how good it is. It's got grass on it, I'm still gonna eat it. Mm. Mm. A little bit of fiber in there. That's right. A little bit of roughage. A little bit of roughage. That's what we call it here on the channel, a sloppy jalopy. I just got done eating 18 cheeseburgers and I just inhaled that because it was so good. Rolling fresh gourmet. You gotta come Rolling try fresh. this. Rolling fresh. Rolling fresh. We're here with Big Ben. He just made that burger for us. It was the perfect amount of pork and beef grease a inside salt there. A little oh, salty. Yeah. It was salty. You know, it had all the onions on it. It was. Perfect. I think I like the Big Ben better than the one you guys entered in the competition. Yeah, yeah. Why didn't you enter the Big Ben? Well, next year. Next year, <laughs> next year baby. Come here for first. the Big Ben. So you guys are going to be here next year? Uh, we'll probably be here They're going to be here. Year. No, I don't we'll care what he says. They're going to be here next year. They're going to be here next year. So you guys can come try this. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah. All right, that's it for us, Kingsville Cheeseburger Fest 2023. I have to announce my personal winner, and I think it's a tie between two people. Couldn't decide which one was better. I like them both. Uh, that would be, the two places would be Rolling Fresh Gourmet, that food truck right by the park. I loved what they had to offer. Very delicious. Gourmet chefs, uh, so not, not a very big surprise that their food was super delicious. Second, uh, Equally as good, I thought, was Lefty's, not the Lefty's restaurant, which was also good, but Lefty's down by the river at that little uh, remote kiosk location. The, the burger with all the cheese and the, the uh, corn, street corn queso dip, whatever they had on it, it was, that was off the chain. Uh, you know, I'm a sucker for cheesy, sloppy burgers. And that's what they had there. Special thanks to everybody that uh, put up with my shenanigans all week long. Leanne, Mike, Edie Griffin, uh, Brad for Brad's Bang and Burgers. Let me park in front of his place for the parade. Held it down. My man Brad uh, also owns Iggy's Pizza right there. If you want a pizza, go get a pizza. It's delicious. I ate, I must have had like 50 slices of pizza during <laughs> the duration of Cheeseburger Fest. So, cheeseburgers and pizza. Also, Steve from, from BK's. Uh, fantastic. Thank you for the rib tips. I didn't get that on camera, but I ate them all. Uh, a lot of fun. Thank you, uh, the, the Chamber of Commerce out in Kaysville. Uh, thanks for putting on this show for us. We, we had a great time. Anyways, I'll see you guys next year. This is Danny Delicious. Talking to all you sexy cool cats coming straight at you from Kaysville, Michigan. Later. Peace. <laughs>